Hi, everybody. Welcome to my studio. I'm Ann Hine, Embroidery Software Specialist for Genomi America. And today I'm talking about applique. So I want to show you how quick and easy it is to do applique. You can bring in any shape. You can draw a shape in there and create your applique. You can use the lettering uh, tool as well and create letters. So I'm going to show you using a shape the shape tool and the lettering tool, how to create the applique. And it's very easy. You can create just your applique um, and all the parts to it. And you can also create the cut file if you have a digital cutter and you want a cut file. So let me open my software and we will get started here. Here we go. I'm gonna go right to create new. And here on my workspace, I have my uh, hoop for my CM17. I'm gonna come up here and turn on my techniques. And that will allow me to create that cut file um, should I need it for my design. I'm gonna also go over here to the shapes tool and I'm gonna use the star shape to get started. You can change the amount of rays right up here. You can do the uh, ray size and angle and all of that. And then you left click and drag across and there you have your shape. So I have it right there. Now I'm gonna go into my properties, which are closed. So let me open those up. And in properties, I find out under fill, there's applique. And I can select applique. And I'm going to trim my fabric for the first time during embroidery. That means it's gonna stop uh, before the last stitching and allow me to do that. So I'm gonna do a satin stitch on the outline. Let's see if we did that. There it is. And if I want that satin stitch wider, um, I can go to outline and change it here. Let's just make it 4.0 millimeter. There we go. And to see how that works, so you can see how this is all working. In slow redraw, what's going to happen is it's going to do an outline so you can place your fabric and it makes a little jump stitch at the top. That's where it actually stops. So even though you don't see three colors here, um, you will see your placement. And then you're gonna put your fabric down and it's gonna do a tack down. And then it'll jump out again and let you trim it. And then it'll come in and do your finishing stitch. So fairly easy. It, I've created an applique and I'm ready to go. You can use the same technique when you're creating a patch as well. So let's say with this one, I wanted to uh, have a cut file with this one instead. Well, I can come right down here and in my cutter presets, I can choose if I need to choose any of those. And then to get my cut file, I would just go to file, export to cutters. And then you can save it as um, one of these formats if you don't have the edge cutter or we can connect to the edge cutter. And there would be my cut file for my design. And it's, it would be right in here with it when you save your design. So let's try one with a letter. So I'm gonna open up and I'm gonna to go to our text and you can go through and find, I usually like a uh, sort of chunky uh, font for this. And I'm gonna go here and type a capital letter J and I don't really like that font. So let me go back in here and I can go through here and see, oh, this is a nice one. I'll use this one. All right, I'm gonna select it and then I'm just gonna click and drag it and make it very large. Here we go. So there, I'm gonna start right with that. I do wanna turn on my techniques. When you start a new page, you do need to turn your techniques on. And then I'll go to my, my fill and I'm gonna do applique. And this time I'm going to choose uh, pre-cut with a zigzag. And then we're gonna go in here and look and you'll see there's a little zigzag under there. And you can also see my black outline and that's a satin stitch. I'm gonna select this again. And in outline, I'm gonna choose satin serial and I'll make that four point. 4.0, there we go. So what's going to happen is, let's go back to our uh, slow redraw. It's going to do a placement line. And I'm gonna back out just a bit so you can see. 
and it did its jump. So now it would stop. You would lay your cut file in there and then it's going to tack it down and then it's going to finish it like that. So on my other example, I just used a regular applique and pulled my uh, cut file from there. I didn't have to use the uh, command in settings here with how I was dealing with my fabric, but this gives you a zigzag uh, stitch to hold it down. So some people like that better, even though you may be using a fusible to hold this down. So there you go. Simple as that, you have your appliques done. You can bring, you can convert uh, SVGs in here and bring those in and play with them as well. I have an SVG here, and I'm just gonna show you part of this. I'm gonna make, make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. But let's say I just wanna work with these parts up here. I can select these, I can do applique, and maybe I wanna leave them as the, um, let's change the outer part so we can see it, as a, a blanket stitch. And you can see very easily I changed that and I could bring that back down here and set it on there. This part is all embroidery. Make this one an applique as well. And I think I'll do the uh, E stitch on there. Let's change the outer color of that one to this color. And then I can drag it down here, put it on top. If I wanna make these uh, leaves, uh, Appliques as well. I would just click on applique. Maybe they want to be satin stitched and I can just click the applique and satin and they're all set too. So now I have several appliques. This one here, I would move it. Let me slide over so you can see um, just so that I have a full applique. There we go. So it's all the way on there. And then I have my stems there. My stem is just a, um, it's a step fill. Maybe I want it to be a satin, or maybe I want to turn that into an applique itself. So I have that option. You can combine different types of applique and embroidery all together in your machine. Again, when you're all done with your design, um, you can uh, send it right to your USB stick or through a cable connection uh, or wirelessly. So with the USB stick, let's see if I have, there it is. I'm going to select it there. And it opens my EMB. Let me go up one so you can see. There is my EMB. So if you use the EMB folder and the EMBF, you could select your EMBF and put it in there. Make change your name down here to it. You can save it or export. I'm sorry. You should really say export when you're sending it to your USB. And you can do any of these, but I use the JPX. That's my Jeff with a graphic thumbnail and export it. Now it went to my USB stick. If I wanna save it, I'm gonna to go to File, Save As. And when it opens up here, I'm putting it in my test folder. I wanna save it as a draw file first. And I'm gonna call this, I don't know, Flower One. And uh, that way I can come back and if I need to edit anything or change something, I have the original right there. I can save it. I can go back and save it again as a Jeff file as well, or any of these other files that are there. So I have it in both places, saved both, you know, two different ways. All right, so let me go back here to, so it's fairly easy. You can see here, this is my, my Christmassy one. I used a bird and then I added the little extra pieces on the outside as applique. And then for this one, I actually added stitching on top of my applique. So there's lots of options for you. Make sure you explore the applique tab. It does make your applique a lot easier to come uh, alive. And do look at them under the slow redraw so you can understand you know, what that little jump stitch is for. It's not really a jump stitch. It's just where your machine is going to stop. And they have to show it in a graphic way on slow redraw. So. Enjoy everyone. I hope you're having fun with your software. If you have any questions or comments, you can always come to our Genomi Artistic Digitizer Facebook page and join us there. Lots of inspiration, help and support. Uh, there's guide, guides there for you to follow, lots of things. So join us over there. Bye for now.